I'm back. Well, kind of. <laughs> I am going to start putting out a little bit more content here on YouTube again, but I didn't want to come back without addressing the elephant in the room, which is I've been gone for a while. I mean, hell, I don't even know how long it is, maybe close to a year or something like that. So I wanted to put out a video before I start doing that to just acknowledge that I haven't been around. I get it. I know some of you miss me, probably pissed off, a little ticked off at me for not producing content on a regular basis, but I did want to talk a little bit about it because it does lead to the ultimate point of what I want to tell you from this video, what I want you to do as a result of this video, which is beneficial for you, but it's also beneficial for me as well. I know it's not buying something, so you can relax. Uh, first off, you know, I... I obviously had a new baby. That's a big reason why I haven't been on as much. But my daughter's a little older now. She's over a year old. And I could certainly record if I needed to and, and work around here now at this point. So that's not really a good excuse. Uh, the other excuse that I have is I also took on another client, another big tech company that's more in the startup phase. Unlike my other client who, when I started with them, they were in the startup phase. But now they've, they've been around for uh, 11, 12, it's actually over 12 years now so that I've been with them for 11 of those. So they're not really in the startup phase, but this other client kind of is. And, you know, if you've ever been in that situation, things are just a little bit busier. There's a lot more going on. You're establishing processes and all that sort of stuff. So it's just a little bit more hectic. Um, so that that's also been taking up a, a decent amount of my time. But the big thing and the thing that leads into what I want you to do as a result of watching this video is that I kind of, to be honest with you, I just kind of got fed up with YouTube. Uh, and I know a lot of people were in that zone for a while, but I think my reasoning is a little bit different. And there's, there's, there's kind of, I mean, there's one big thing, maybe two big things uh, related to that. The first is like the way that, that content is sort of valued on on YouTube it's like the weirdest thing and maybe I'm crazy maybe I'm the only one that sees this but you guys can tell me if you've ever seen or you've like noticed how you know you'll, you'll watch a video and it seems like the person spent more time creating the thumbnail than they did the actual content and in some ways I don't blame the creators right it's not necessarily their fault because the way that information or the way that content is valued and gets viewed on on YouTube, the thumbnail plays a big part of that. And if you're in context, I know some of you will tell me, well, that's just the way it is, man. You're old and you should get with the times or whatever. But if you just like step back and just think about information, it actually makes absolutely no sense <laughs> that the thumbnail for a piece of content plays any role, let alone a significant role in how that content is valued on a platform. It, it just, it, I mean, if you go back, you know, you go back to all of the geniuses that have existed throughout history, right? Should their genius have been like, like put down because they didn't, couldn't create a good thumbnail? Like it's the dumbest thing that I've ever heard. Okay. And you know, it just, it's not, I found myself going down that hole and I just don't want to go down that hole. And you guys probably like some of my last videos, you saw a little bit of my rebellion to that where I was like, I'm going to make the ugliest videos ever. Well, that's kind of how I was feeling at the time, and I just decided to stop making videos if I was going to approach it being that jaded. Okay, so that that's kind of the first thing. The second thing is, is you know, I've transitioned a little bit. You know, there's another elephant in the room. I've transitioned a little bit of from talking about development stuff over to freelance stuff, and like a large part of my audience are developers who want nothing to do with freelancing. And so, you know, I had this always awkward thing where. I want to talk about freelancing. This is what I want to do. This is what I want to talk about on the channel. But I got a lot of developers who don't care about that. And it was this awkward sort of back and forth. And so again, it was just made it, it was this other thing that just kind of made it where I didn't feel like creating content and made it harder to create content. And so I just didn't, but I've kind of come to the point that I don't really care anymore. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to talk about what I want to talk about. I've adjusted some things in my life and in my business to where YouTube really doesn't matter at this point. YouTube is more a hobby. So I'm going to talk about whatever the hell I want to talk about, just to be blunt about it. And if people want to watch, then they can watch. And if they don't, I don't really care uh, at this point. So 
I'm going to talk about freelancing. I'm going to talk about marketing. I'm going to talk about business and that sort of thing. But again, the other thing that's so freaking annoying about YouTube is if you've ever watched any of those videos, right? What, how, how do a lot of those videos start? They either have some thumbnail with a guy like holding out a bunch of cash in front of their fancy house and their, their big, or their fancy car and their big house. Or it's like the video starts off with this montage of him pulling up to his big house or her pulling up to her big house and her car and, you know, flashing money and da 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 da, wearing a Rolex lot watch and, and I just, <laughs> just to be blunt about it, when it comes to money, that's like the dumbest, it's like a montage of how to be stupid with your money, like how to blow money on stupid things. Now, maybe these people are actually smart and they're renting this stuff. I hope so. I really honestly do hope so because I hope they're not spending that their money that stupidly. Um, and so it's just it's like those are the but it's that stuff that gets the, the, the attention, right? That's what people people see that montage or that thumbnail and they just like automatically assume authority. This person knows what they're talking about, even though if you get into the actual content, just like with the thumbnail, the thumbnail could be awesome, but when you get past that into the actual content, it's complete crap or it's junk or the ideas that they're peddling are stupid, right? And so I'm not gonna go down that route. I, I'll be honest, you'll, you'll see, I started to go that little way a little bit with my thumbnails. I admit that, I own that. But I never, I don't think I ever did it in, in my content. Or if I did, then it was not nearly as egregious as what, of what some of these people do. And it's like, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna, you know, am I, am I gonna make a montage of my <laughs> Roth IRA account? Right? Or, or all the debt that I've paid off? Or, or <laughs> like how I built a, a, you know, a tiny house to not have a mortgage? Like, None of that stuff is sexy like a Rolex watch or a big house or a fancy car or any of that stuff. And so, but again, that's the stuff that gets you, gets views. That's the stuff that gets attention. That's the stuff that creates authority on YouTube. So all of that is pretty much why, like, I just sort of pushed YouTube aside for the longest time because it just was all very annoying and frustrating to me. And I really didn't want anything to do with it. And so now... I'm back and my whole my whole approach to this is I don't I don't care what anybody else is doing. I don't care about getting a bunch of views. I don't care about, you know, what people say or think about the videos or any of that crap. All I care about is, you know, a small community of people who care what I have to say, who feel this a similar way and like I'm going to carve out this is my little niche in YouTube. This is what I'm going to do. And I don't really care what anybody else is doing. And so if you want to go along for that ride, if you want to continue to watch my videos where I talk about business and freelance and, oh, my God, making money, but not in the douchey, let me show you my Rolex watch way, then that's what I'm going to be, be doing here. And, yeah, I'm also going to sell you some of my products and services along the way just like everybody else but it's not going to be merch or any of that stuff i shouldn't say that i, I might i might make a t-shirt someday i'm i'm i swear to god i'm going to make a t-shirt someday anyway <laughs> it's going to be stuff that's actually going to help you in your career stuff that i've used like i've done this for 15 years you know it there's so many things that i've learned along the way upwork freelancing business marketing copywriting like course creation, tons of stuff I've never even talked about on here. Uh, investing in Bitcoin, which is paying off real big right now. Uh, investing in the stock market, uh, which is doing well for me right now because I, I was smart and I did it when the stock market tanked right at the beginning of the coronavirus. Uh, call me a bad guy for that, but it's worked out pretty well for my financial situation when it comes to my stock portfolio. So all of that sort of stuff, like that's what I'm going to talk about. But I'm not going to flash my Rolexes and do all that stuff. So if you need that, if you need the, the Rolex flash and you need the fancy car and the fancy house and all that crap, this ain't going to be the place for you. If you're a developer who watched some of my past tutorials and stuff like that, you know, I love you. I get it. It's not what you signed up for, but I'm like putting out like the, <laughs> I'm putting out the info. I'm putting out the warning. I'm probably not going to talk about that stuff ever again. It's not really much of what I do anymore. I mean, I code primarily as a hobby anymore. 
these days I manage coders more than anything else. So, uh, you know, I just, it's not something that I'm probably going to talk about all that much. All right. So that's it. Now, what I want you to do as a result of this video, I almost forgot that part. So what I want you to do, if you want actual, like, training on stuff, if you want, you know, particularly freelance stuff, like actual techniques and actual, you know, the processes and methods and insights and all of that stuff, right? There's probably not necessarily going to be a bunch of that here on YouTube. Uh, and again, it's because YouTube doesn't want it. YouTube doesn't like it. This is going to be stay more to the entertainment side of things, me ranting about things or, or whatever. Um, and I'll share some stuff now and then. But if you want the hardcore stuff, that's what I created my mobile app for. And so I have a mobile app that's got it's got over seven hours of like hardcore content actual teaching and training showing you how to do things insights da 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 I post uh, I try to post a new video over there almost every single day I don't always do that sometimes I get real busy and I go a week and I don't post but I try to post a new something new every single day that's gonna help you with your freelance career and that's where the hardcore stuff really is because then I don't have to worry about all the crap on YouTube and, and, and that sort of stuff. So I put a link in the description. You go to johnmorrisonline.com. It's right there on my homepage to sign up for my mobile app. You need to register for the app. You can't just go to the app store and download the app and get access. I don't let just anybody in. Okay. So you need to register. Again, the link is in the description. It's completely free. It's got a lot of my old YouTube videos already in there. I'm uploading more every day. I'm posting new content. I'm adding courses that are free. Um, I've got some of my my uh, premium courses over there in the the actual store that are discounted from if you buy them uh, off the web off my website. So you know, there's a lot of stuff going on over there. And if you want to keep up with what I'm actually doing on a daily basis, the actual hardcore techniques and so forth, that's the play to do, place to do it. Again, johnmorrisonline.com or link in the description. All right, that's it. I guess I'll see you later.